Hi, welcome to Yoga with Liza, day 69. Uh, started this with the beginning of when they closed the gyms in March and have been moving right along with it quite happily so. So tonight, our essence of the night is sandalwood. Sandalwood can be found in Egypt, Madagascar, India. Anyway, there's multiple places other than India. And I will tell you in just a moment um, where that would be and okay patty yay good to see you richard ethel good to see you <laughs> mikey good to see you so henry's here too yes give me a thumbs up okay essence of the night sandalwood and so i was working on a meditation last night i did the meditation class and luna's coming in to see everybody too so cleaning up my mess while i'm talking to you about sandalwood um sandalwood has a very unique scent and it's one that, yeah, it is crazy, Cindy. Um, it's crazy for everybody being at home who can't work. It's crazy for the mandatory workers who feel like they're working without help. Um, and, you know, I, I had a debate today with somebody as to whether or not churches and gyms should reopen and my feeling is that the healing that people get from a good workout and being with their spiritual guides meaning church um outweighs the risk if you're wearing a mask and gloves and keeping your distance so you know, I guess the issue is not everybody does that. Um, you know, but anyway, this is not political, so I'm not going to say anything more about that. Um, you know, we all want to keep people safe, and I know that the healthcare workers, some of them are afraid of being overrun and not being able to take care of everybody the way they need it. So there's two sides and, you know, you need to make your choices and um, live your life and be responsible for your own consequences. Okay, so Sandalwood, Australia. I knew there was another place besides India that it was from and I was blanking out on it. So it's Australia and India. Um, that sandalwood that I'm aware of comes from. There may be other places in the world. Um, Wisdom of the Earth is interesting. Sandalwood Australia, AIDS Insecurities, is an avatar wisdom teacher and helps with meditation. It's good for a dry cough, the central nervous system, cerebral area, AIDS and cardiac disease is a heart chakra worker on all levels. Uh, can help with Alzheimer's as well. I need to be pouring sandalwood on my head. Um, sandalwood, the sandalwood from India has very similar. Um, it can also help with prostate issues, the sandalwood from India. And real quick, I'm going to read to you 
what Valerie Ann has to say about sandalwood. And because on a spiritual meditation level, um, see, Patty, she's fine. Um, and Wyatt and Ricky and Angelo. Angelo's birthday is coming up this week. Okay, sandalwood from Valerie Ann Wurwood's perspective, um, aromatherapy for the soul. A fragrance that stretches out to the universe into hallowed space between heaven and earth to contact the divine presence. Sandalwood brings our wisdom into a meditative state, quieting us so we can hear the hear and rejoice in choral singing of universal souls. It brings us into the great cosmic prayer, the infinite meditation. Sandalwood helps humanity to have strength of conviction when standing against adversity. See, I told you I need to be pouring this over my head. It joins all aspects of being and rejoice in the physical aspects of mankind while always being aware of the spiritual self. Succomative, anti-infectious, antidepressant, decongestant, antiseptic, and a diuretic. So interesting, interesting principles of sandalwood. So coming into the kids section, and I know we have some kids out there. I'm going to say, Henry, where's your head, your eyes? Grandma loves you. Wyatt, Ricky, Angela, Grandma loves you. Jace, Cora, Ava, Maya, Braylon, Harper, Anna, Olivia, Scarlett, L'Oreal, Jason, James, Jensen, Emrys, Manny, Zenaida, Kyra, Weston, Carson, Owen, Skyler, KK, Dylan, Nina, Lucas, Robbie, Michael, Will, and help. Um, so I think I got everybody. And in the neighborhood, we had a couple birthday parades today, a special shout out to those of you who had birthday parades today. So if you have an empty stomach, I've been eating late dinners um, after class. And real quick, let's do our trust mudra. So girls, your left hand is on the bottom, boys, the right hand is on the bottom. And then we bring our arms up overhead, make our new moon and push the air out from the belly. Breath of fire, Kalabati breath, and I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, please forgive me, those of you, um, I do the best that I can. She's not sure about that. And then see that glow coming out the mudra to create trust, bringing trust into our aura. Okay, little one, I'm going to stand up. You might want to go to your little section over there. <clears throat> Gently inhaling up and coming into my sun pose. The sun was in and out today. In between the clouds, I'm going to step wide into cloud pose. And am I talking loud enough? Can you hear me? From cloud pose, inhale back up, feel our star. And from star, let's step the feet back together and do our moon. Again, stack our hands and Hold, this is our new moon or our full moon. And then bring the palms together, arch into crescent moon. And inhale back over and arch into crescent moon. 
and come back through center. Gently let the hands fall back behind. Open the arms, feel our butterfly wings. Bring the arms in, press into our ears. And then one more time, gently let the arms open and unfold. Let our left foot come to the mat and pick up the right. Bring that right knee to the right, breathing into it. Maybe you come up into your full tree. Maybe you keep your foot in the earth. Five. Bring the right foot to the mat. Shift the weight to the right. Pick up the left. Bring that left knee to the left. And this may be where you hold in your tree. Maybe that left foot comes up. Make sure that the foot is above or below the knee. So there's the pressure of your foot is above or below the knee. And bring that left foot back to the earth. Bring the arms up overhead. One more time. Let's feel our crescent moon side to side. Gently bring our arms out in a T. Bring that right foot behind. Let's do our soaring eagle. And bring the right foot to the mat. Bring that down into the mat. And bring the left foot straight back. Again, feeling our soaring eagle. Okay, now we're going to step back and feel our low lunge. And then bring that back foot forward, flat back, and bring the right foot back. Feel that low lunge. Bring the right knee to the mat. Bring the hands to the inside. Bring the left knee back. Feel our fingers spread wide. Arch. Feel our cow. Exhale. Feel our cat. Not the sleeping cat next to me, our cat. Inhale. Feel our cow. And inhale back, feel cat. Plant the toes, push back, downward dog. Walk our hands back to our feet. Standing forward, fold, tuck our chin, roll up one vertebrae at a time, bring the hands up overhead, bringing our hands back through heart center, coming down into our ladybug or wide leg squat, and adults, maybe you're simply ready to sit on the mat, however you bring yourself into this position. Gently bring the hands to the mat, arms come back around, and taking a great big inhale in, lion's breath roar. 
I know she's tired when that doesn't even budge her. Gently bring ourselves all the way around. Ricky, let's do both. This one's for you. So gently sit on the mat, balance on our sit bones. Okay, ready? Let's pick our feet up, bringing the feet up, 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 maybe all the way up. Maybe you keep them bent in. And then gently, maybe we row our boat. They row our boat gently down the stream, bringing our hands into our knees, giving ourselves a hug. Gently bring the feet to the mat. Feel our butterfly legs. And then gently bring our knees together. Give ourselves a hug. Finding easy cross leg, whatever that may be. And transitioning from kids to adults. Kids are welcome to stay. It's all rated G. The I love you mudra. This is love mudra. This is I love you in sign language. And coming back onto the mat. And <laughs> and heads and mwah, kisses for Henry. Henry doesn't know the I love you mutra yet. Okay, so adults. Coming into our world meditation, those of you who have been with me um, for at least the past 10 days, we've been sending love, light, Reiki to the world. So this is the representation of the modern world. And just so you can see up close, this is a globe. The Native American world in the United States, my little turtle, is um, has a little chip on it. But this is from southeastern, southwestern America. Um, when I was young, we lived out on the west coast and traveled um, through the reservations, the painted desert and so forth <clears throat> and i've since been back and then i got my grandma kachina because that became very relevant anyway so let's come into our meditation of the world sending light hail mary's prayers um simply positive thoughts if you choose Reiki practitioners, hold the distance symbol in your head if you're aware of that. And maybe you're sending out healing to someone specifically, healing to the earth, healing to humanity.
I am grateful for. I am grateful for. And I am grateful for. I charged. All right, so I did a promise in adult flow. I had to check up on what I promised. We're going to do this as a gentle, easy flow. Some stretching and some holding in our flow. So let's start standing today. And bring yourself up to stand. Maybe you come through your squat. Inhale, bring it all the way up and around. And inhale, bring it up and around. And bring the hands in, inhale, up and around. Gently bring the right ear to the right shoulder. Inhale back through center. Bring the left ear to the left shoulder. Inhale through center. Bringing the chin to the chest. Inhale up. Open and close, open and close. Close the mouth and swallow. Smile. Coming back to center, bring the chin to the right. Come back through center, bring the chin to the left. Coming all the way back through center, Gentle circles with our nose one way. Gentle circles with the nose back around the other way. Bring the chin back to center. Right ear to the right shoulder. Look down at the mat. Inhale back through center, bring the left ear to the left shoulder. And look down at the mat. Inhale back around, bring the whole head all the way around. Gentle circles with the head. Come back through center. Gentle circles back around the other one. Coming back to center. This time bring the arms up over and bring the fingers all the way through center. And one more time, bring the hands up and over, all the way back through center. And one more time, hands all the way back through center, pushing back away from the fingers. Bring the hands back behind Yoga Mudra, gently bringing them down. Feel this gentle back bend as we look up to the ceiling. Open and close. 
bring the chin back to center, bring the hands over to one side. Take this elbow and bring it back towards the spine. So we're squared off, breathing into it. Bringing our hands all the way back down, look up to the ceiling. Bring the chin back to chest. Come back to center. Bring the hands to the opposite side and take that elbow, bring it back to the spine so that you're squared off, gentle back bend. Great big stretch. Now come back to center, bring the hands back behind. Shift the weight to the left foot, pick up the right knee. And this may be where you hold. Maybe that right knee comes all the way into your chest. Point and flex, point and flex. Bringing that knee up as high as it'll go. And maybe you can do this without holding. Bring that right knee back down to the mat. Plant that right foot in, shift it over, pick up the left knee, bring it all the way in. So we're still in the energy of the new moon and we may do one gentle moon salutation tonight and bring that foot back down. So let's do that. Let's come into our gentle, we're, we'll do triangle, standing pyramid, reverse triangle as our um, poses in, in the moon salutation flow. Inhaling, bringing the arms up overhead. Feel our crescent moon, crescent moon. Gently step wide into our star pose. Bring our heels in, feel our goddess or cloud, whichever name you wish to use. Inhale back up, bring the toes around. Feel our star pose. Take the right hand, the right toes, feel our triangle, reach forward and come up into triangle trikonasana. Breathing into it. Inhale up, square off. Bring that left foot back around. Bring the hands back behind. Gentle yoga mudra. Exhale. Coming into our standing pyramid. Maybe your hands are by your foot. Honor yourself in the stretch. Take the left hand just to the inside or the outside of that right foot and gently pick up the right hand, breathing into it. Bringing that right hand down, inhale up, opening back to our star pose. Bring the heels in, feel our goddess. Inhale up, come back to our star. Gently step over to the back of the mat. So we're stepping to the side, arch, towards the middle, arch to the outside, bringing the hands all the way back through center, releasing them out, 
gently bring the shoulders up and around breath inhale bring it up arch to the outside come back through arch to the inside step wide feel our star from star bring the heels in feel our goddess inhale up star bring the toes to the left reach forward triangle breathing into it inhale up bring the hands out in a t gently bringing the arms back around maybe you come back behind feel our back bend breath hinging exhale come forward Pick the left hand up, reverse our triangle, evolved triangle. We had a big conversation one day when I called it that. I like it. inhale all the way up and around coming back to our star pose bringing our heels in coming into our goddess straightening back to star coming back to the front of the mat gentle arch out arch in bring the hands back through heart center to dasana so this is memorial day weekend and honoring those who served for our freedom let's do an eagle today and we'll even maybe do some eagle crunches so many many workshop on balance balance is our vision our inner ears the nerves in our joints receptor things that send feedback to the brain through our central nervous system uh, so if one or all of those have some sort of disruption that makes balance an extra challenge if our feet have um, full sensation so if you don't have diabetic neuropathy or chemo neuropathy and i mention these things because then we can say oh i'm really grateful that um, i'm not in that group um, the soles of the feet so we can feel the soles of our feet and the core so by engaging as we take a fist and gently push into the stomach if you have heart arrhythmias do not do this um, otherwise just gently push and tighten the muscles in the abdomen and then feel the lift on the floor of the pelvic wall okay so we're feeling solid in our core our Mula bandhas and our idiata bandhas. The Chalanhadra bandhas is up here by the throat. So these are the two lower bandhas. And I'll post a picture of them. Now gently leaning forward, feel all the weight in the toes. 
or you know, anybody ski, you know, like you're bringing your shins to the into your ski boots. And you know, if you do this, um, your tail of your skis come up. And then if you lean back, so all the weights in your heels and maybe your toes are popping up, we would never ever want to do this on the ski slope. Yes, I used to teach skiing as well. So balance in yoga and skiing are like hand interwoven when it comes to finding that sweet spot in your boots and on your skis where your weight is balanced between your heels and your toes. So that's a huge, huge help being aware of that with balance and yoga. And those of you who have been in class with me have heard this all before. Thank you for your patience for those who haven't. Gently shift the weight to the left foot. And as we pick up that right foot, feel that heel come up. And you know what? Let's take our left arm over our right to start. And then maybe bring our arms in. Because doing the arms after we cross the leg is more challenging. And then we're going to bring the right foot, left arms on top, right foot's on top. And maybe this right foot is going to come straight into the mat. And this may be right where you hold. Maybe squeezing those thighs together, you can wrap that right foot behind your left shin. Not required. Knee and hip replacements. Be happy with it on the mat or the thighs crossed. Take the knees, elbows to the knees and feel our crunch five four three two one inhale up option to hold or flow with me as we exhale back down inhale up exhale down Inhale up, exhale back to the knees. We've done this on our backs. Inhale back up, exhale back down. Inhale back up, uncross, bring the arms out. Gently twist from side to side. Breathing into it. Coming back to center. Plant the right foot. Right arm comes over the left. Maybe we come into our eagle arms. Eyes focusing on the signs behind me. Find that even place between your right heel and toes as you bring that left leg up and over. Breathing into it. And this may be right where you hold. Maybe that toe is in the mat. Exhale, feel the fold. Inhale up, exhale fold, inhale up, exhale fold, inhale up, exhale fold, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Unwind again. Gently come from side to side. Gentle side to side. Okay, so the full opposite of eagle. Flow into our star pose. Right? 
complete opposite of eagle. Correct. So maybe in star, we arch that right arm up. Bring the arm down, bring the right arm down, left arm up, toes pointed straight ahead. Exhale, come over. Exhale, come back over the other way. And exhale. So there's all different ways to flow. Typically, when people hear flow, they think sun salutations, moon salutations. We did moon salutations on Thursday. And so I did one tonight, but gentle flow. Now, bring the arms into cactus, bring the heels in, goddess. Exhale, come down as deep as we can. Inhale, bring it back up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, two more, inhale back up, bring our feet back to the front of the mat. Gently shift the weight. And I'm going to come over here so you can see my toes. So shift the weight to the left foot. Pick up the right. My heel is up off the mat. Now I'm making gentle circles with my hips. And flowing. So this is the this is movement, bring the knee back around the other way. I learned this from, from Paul Jarrett from Aurora Wellness many, many years ago. You all know we've been doing this in class. I call it the hula dance. Bring the right foot down, pick up that left heel. Gently make circles coming around one way. So we're opening up the toes, the ankles, the knees, the hips, the shoulders, because we're getting the shoulders into the movement too. And then reverse the movement of the knee. So we're on the ball of the left toe, making this gentle moving circle. Now coming back to center, I'm going to shift the weight to the left and pick up that right knee and come into my tree and bring my hands here. And this may be right where I hold, maybe opening, feeling cactus arm trees. And today we had some storms. Last night we had thunder showers. So I'm doing my tree in the wind, breathing, and maybe you do it slow with control, holding the bandhas, the uliata bandhas, feeling both the heels and the toes of the left foot as the arms are moving. So some people gently do the flow from one side, up, over, and up, and over. So however, and maybe you're holding right here and your toes in the mat. Step, bring the left foot up. So maybe the toes here and you hold here. Maybe you come to your version of tree wherever that is bringing the arms up overhead and maybe the branches flow one arm up one arm down 
feeling all four corners of that right foot in the mat. So moving in balance gives us core, gives us stability of vision. Where you look, keep your eyes, eye height or above. Things that maybe you have no control over, your ears, your sinuses, but we're learning how to compensate for those. Bringing the hands back to center, step wide, bring our palms up. So for those of you, uh, come on back over to the other side, who maybe balance is not your most favorite thing. I've had chronic ear issues my whole life. So I practice balance because with my ears, I still have a hole in my left eardrum. No tube, paper patch. Um, and my right eardrum has been completely rebuilt. They took some muscle. Um, so balance is a challenge for me. So I practice it to help me both on and off the mat. All right, enough said. Feet come to the mat, bend the knees, bring the hips down, bring the hands in, feel our chair. And this may be right where you hold. Maybe you twist and bring that left elbow to the right. Now, maybe you open the arms and this may be where you hold. Option to shift the weight to the right foot and pick up the left. And when you pick up that left foot, squeeze the thighs together. Feel the bandhas, the mula bandhas, uli idiata bandhas. Bring that left foot back to the mat. Bring the hands in, inhale up. Feel that back bend, let our arms come back behind. Gently open as we come back around. On the other side, bringing our hands to heart center, coming into chair, ukatasana. Some people call this fierce or lightning. Um, all different variations of this. Bring the right elbow to the left. Maybe the arms open. Maybe you shift the weight to that left foot and pick up that right. Feel the weight between your heel and your toes even. Thighs squeeze together. Mula Bandha, Adiyata Bandha. Breath, bring the foot to the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Maybe our hands come underneath our feet, palms up. This is gorilla. And if the kids are still here, you can walk forward in gorilla. Bend your knees. Release the hands out, tuck the chin, roll up one vertebrae at a time, bringing ourselves back to center. Rocking horse, we haven't done rocking horse for a while. So rocking horse is bringing the foot in front, bringing the foot behind. So I'm going to start with a little baby rocking horse. Shift the weight to the left foot, pick up the right, bring it back behind, bring it back in front, bring it back behind, bring it back in front. Maybe your toe's still in the mat. Bring it back behind, bring it back in front, bring it all the way back behind. So maybe you're coming out into warrior three. 
Inhale, bring it all the way back forward and bring that foot out in front. Bring it all the way back behind. So even balance, movement and balance is a huge challenge. Last time back behind. All the way out in front. Bring that right foot to the mat. Shift the weight to the right. And I'm on solid mat now instead of split. All right. In front. Behind. In front, behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, inhale all the way up bringing that foot all the way out in front. Bring that foot all the way back behind. Straighten it out. Inhale, bring it all the way out in front. And bring it all the way back behind, back to the mat. Great big audible sigh. Bringing ourselves down to the mat. Maybe you come into arm balance and crow. Maybe, no, before we do crow, let's hold right here. And I'm going to bring my left arm to the mat and bring the right arm up so we have a twist. Bring that right arm down, inhale up. Gentle twist. Exhale, left arm down. Right arm up. Right arm down. Left arm up. Left arm down, right arm up. One more time, right arm down, left arm, left arm down, right arm. Bringing ourselves back. Let's all come back on our backs. For crow. If you know an upright crow and you would like to do that, by all means, feel free. But as I come back on my back, we're going to flow between crow on our back and happy infant. So as we come down, bringing the feet up, we're going to bring our palms knees come to the armpits like happy infant bringing our arms to the center bending our wrists so our palms and our feet are basically standing on the ceiling as if they were standing on the ceiling now pick up our head neck and shoulders bringing the arms to the inside of the thighs with the elbows Bend, and this is our crow on the back. Exhale, come down. Maybe you grab your toes or the feet. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Exhale, come down. Inhale, up. Exhale down. Inhale up and hold. Exhale. 
exhale down hold the toes bring the knees in straight in the right leg so this is our long leg stretch on our back bend the right knee straight in the left leg so we just shift it over to the other side reverse straighten the right leg bend the left knee bend the right knee straighten the left leg bend the left knee bend the right knee bend the left knee and the right knee two more left knee and the right knee coming back to center bring our knees into our chest Give ourselves the hug. Gently roll over onto your right side and come up one vertebrae at a time, unless you have somebody in the way. I typically do not do rock and rolls at night because it will keep you up. However, this is going to be a late night for me anyway, so left foot out in front bring the right foot over and gently come into our twist so this is one of our pauses Coming back to center, uncross the right leg, cross the left leg. Bring that left arm all the way up and around. Gentle twist, breathing into it. Coming all the way back around, bringing the left ankle to the right thigh, and we're going to sneak in a little foot rub here. Gently hold the big toe, a 30 second foot rub. The next toe, okay, maybe a minute and 30 seconds. The next toe, the next toe, and the next toe. Take the thumbs to the pad of the feet. And this was out of a yoga journal eons ago. Fist gently come down in the arch. So when we come to the top of the arch and bring it down and bring it down and bring it down, this is the middle part of the body. If you're pregnant, don't do that. Just hold your palm there um, because it creates a movement taking our palm around our heel breath and you want to come only in a downward motion because that's how we let go of things that no longer serve us unless we're pregnant and gently bring the palm around one way 
bringing our fingers in between our toes like we're holding our hands and gently opening the hips and the shoulders and gentle circles coming around gentle circles one way gentle circles back around the other way breathing into it gently release that leg out walk our hands down gently bring that hand back down to the mat bring the right leg up gentle foot rub hold the big toe hold the next toe and the next toe and the next toe and the next toe then take the thumbs and rub into the sole of the foot, breathing into it. And again, if you're not pregnant, take the hands, the knuckles, down the arch of the foot, two, three, four, five. Take our hand open, gentle circles around the ankle, five times one way maybe you reverse the circle back around the other way bring our fingers in between our toes as if we're holding hands with our toes and then gentle circles so we're opening our hips and our knees as we come around one way and then back around the other way. All the way around. I'm going to call her Curious Luna. Bringing that left an right ankle back to the left thigh. Gently bringing ourselves down into our incumbent pigeon bringing our hands through center and maybe you bring yourself around to your upright pigeon uncross bring the legs out in a v bring the left foot over the right and come back into our incumbent pigeon 10 breaths okay This time, uncross, bring the feet wide. As we bend our knees, bring the soles of the feet to the mat. Bring our arms out in a T, let our knees come together. Let the knees drop to the right as we look to the left.
Gently bring the knees back over to the left as we look to the right. Come back through center, reverse. Come back through center. Heel toe the feet in, inhale up, feel our bridge, exhale, come down, inhale up, toes are straight ahead, push those big toes into the mat, exhale down, inhale up, Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Bring our knees into our chest, our palms to our knees. Gentle circles one way. Bring the knees together, reverse the direction. So we're bringing the knees independently around in a circle. Now bring the knees together, moving the knees together, big circles one way. Pause. Coming all the way back around the other way. Coming back to center. Inhale up. Feel our legs up the wall. This is one of our pauses. Maybe you come into your shoulder stand if that's part of your regular practice. I'm holding in legs up the wall. So people with high blood pressure, glaucoma, head injuries, head traumas should hold in legs up the wall. If you need to bring yourself up or would like to into your shoulder stand, feel free to do so. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hold right here. Bring the soles of the feet together. Feel cobbler on our backs. Bring the pinky side of our toes to the mat. Arms come up and over. Feel our Sutta Baddha Konasana.
bringing our hands down by our side. Gently stretching our feet straight out onto the mat. Palms can come into the mat, palms can come up. Every muscle melts into the mat. If you were here last night for meditation, maybe you envision that beautiful white light with rose coming through the body. Healing white light and rose. Mixed in with a little bit of sandalwood. Ooh la la. Gently wiggling our fingers and toes. Stretching the arms up overhead. Bringing our knees into our chest. Give ourselves a hug. Gently rolling over onto the right side. Pausing and thanking ourselves for our practice. Uncrossing, gently pushing up one vertebrae at a time. Coming back into our version, your version of easy cross leg, whichever way feels best for you. Bringing our hands to heart center. May the light within me salute the light within you. And when we are at this place, we are truly all the same. Namaskar, namaste. Be happy, safe, and healthy until we meet again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. getting my glasses you know i went shopping today so when i go shopping and i come home i take a shower i wash the groceries with soap and cold water i wash my glasses the gloves you know it's a whole project to go shopping anymore um but i'm grateful for the freedom to do that Patty, Richard, Ethel, thank you. Mikey, thank you. Cindy, thank you. Nina, thank you. Wendy, Marie, thank you. Marion, Renee, good to see you. Ed, good to see you. Aquala, you understand the eagle. Linda, good to see you. You're welcome, Cindy, very much. Luna's coming back to say thank you, too. She's saying, where is everybody? 
someday we will all be back at the gym and 